I'm the new face trucking on time. Good morning, my name is Paul Higgins, and I wanted to take just a few minutes this morning to go through some of the features of our carrier Ultima XTC reefer units. They are mounted on all of our new Wabash trailers that we have, and we'll have at least 3,000 of these, so that'll, this will be the bulk of our fleet. I want to make sure that you all get familiarized with the way that this reefer unit will run. This unit is really a very technical unit. It is not difficult to use, but it's really simple to operate. And I want to take a couple minutes to show you some of the features of the, the product that they sell us called the IntelliSets. Now the IntelliSets is an option that we bought from Carrier. Not all Ultima XTCs have IntelliSets loaded into them, but it's something that we paid for so that we can fine tune the way that the reefer unit runs when we haul different products. We can tell it to operate in a certain way when we haul ice cream. We can tell it to operate in a different way when we haul normally frozen foods, uh, fresh meat, uh, flowers. We can fine tune it for each of these products. And this is going to be some of the ways that we'll go through this this morning on this tape with you. One of the most important things that you need to know is the way to identify one of our reefer units that has the IntelliSets loaded in it. And that will be easily distinguished by this decal that's right beside the tire max light. It's a white decal with red printing on it and it just says basically IntelliSet instructions for Carrier Ultima XTC. So a real easy visual. You can drive through the trailer drop yards and if you have an opportunity pick up one of these trailers with this decal on it. As I said before, the IntelliSet is a way to fine tune that reefer unit for whatever freight it is you're, that, that you're hauling. And the first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to open up the microprocessor door and whether it's a dry load or a refrigerated load, you need to flip the power switch on. And it'll take just a few moments, probably about 20 seconds, for the reefer unit, as you see the microprocessor here, you can kind of see it starting through its self, uh, its self check test. And it'll display that on here. It says micro self test in progress. And in just a couple of minutes, or within about 20 seconds or so, it'll tell us the temperature in the load and whatever IntelliSet that this reefer unit is, is set up in. Currently, this one came up and it says default here under status. Again, it'll say, it'll tell us the reefer hours and a lot of info that you may or may not need. But whenever it gets finished, this one will probably go to the default mode. What default means is, is that that is a standard setting from the factory and that the reefer unit currently is not running in any IntelliSet. It's just, again, it's basically default. Some of these things may say, it may say standard operation, it may say default, it may say fuel hog. You know, we've come up with some different names for these things. So any of these things, uh, any of these settings are not necessarily the ones that you want to run in whenever you pick up your load, but we're going to help you figure out how to set the unit for that. So when it comes up to status OK and you hear this beep come on, the beep, remember, is the glow plug warming up. And it's, OK, so currently this reefer unit just started up and currently it's set. When I push the equal sign, it tells me the set point or the, the IntelliSet says default. Currently the set point is 35 degrees and it tells me the box temperature at the return air sensor. That's the temperature inside the trailer. What you want to do, let's just say that you're picking up a load over here. We're in Springfield right now, so you're going to pick up a load from Kraft Foods here in Springfield. And the set, it's going to be a load of cheese. And let's just, for example, we'll say that the uh, customer wants the reefer unit set on 34 degrees and we're going to haul cheese. So the way to use an IntelliSet would be to hit the equal sign. It will tell us that we're in the default mode, and at that point we want to go straight to the down arrow sign or up arrow sign, and you start paging down through all the different IntelliSets. And we'll get to an IntelliSet called, I hope you all can see this, but there's an IntelliSet that we labeled cheese. And so at that point, hit equals, and it gives us a display that says IntelliSet changed. Now remember that the key for this thing is that once you find the IntelliSet that you want, you'll need to hit equals fairly quickly or the system will go back to whatever setting it had before. Once it says status OK, all right, after you hit equals and it says IntelliSet changed, wait until it says status OK. Now at this point, what we're going to be able to do is change the temperature on the trailer. So the default setting for cheese is 38 degrees. What we can do now is just arrow down and we'll, you'll notice that we start changing the temperature. 
and let's just say I think I believe we agreed a second ago we wanted to hit it on 34 degrees so hit get to 34 hit the equal sign again and it's on 34 degrees and so it, it accepted it says set point change now so we know that it accepted that 34 degree setting the final thing that you want to do at this point is to know that in IntelliSets we here in Springfield have chosen whether it's allowable to run the unit in continuous run only or if we're going to allow the unit to be run in continuous or in start-stop. In this case, the way to save yourselves a bunch of money on reefer fuel is to run it in start-stop when we're hauling cheese. And so there's a button over here that says continuous or start-stop. And you'll notice this little light here. We can change it back and forth. In this case, I can toggle it I toggle to continuous, but I don't want it to run there, so I'm going to go back to start-stop, and I'm going to hit equals, and it's going to lock it in start-stop. So. Basically what we're doing now is we're going to say, tell the unit to run it at 34, but stay off as often as possible to still protect that load and to save you reefer fuel. One of the really great points about these IntelliSets is, as I told you before, we can custom tailor the, the reefer to run the way we want it to run. Something that you need to know is that we, we put in an IntelliSet called Fresh Meat. And when we pick up a trailer in Dodge City or Holcomb or Amarillo or any of the meat companies, it's important that you get with dispatch because what we have to do currently is we have a lot of trailers that don't have all these IntelliSets in them. They, don't ha they may not have a fresh meat IntelliSet or it might be one of our Thermal King equipped trailers that doesn't have the carrier uh, IntelliSets. So currently we have to, in our pro numbers, we have to uh, signal that all the loads have to be run on continuous run until we know that it's an IntelliSet equipped trailer. So at that point, when you pick up that trailer in one of those meat companies, get with your fleet manager and tell them, hey, this thing has the IntelliSets. Remember that it'll have that red printed decal. And they can go and you guys can talk about which IntelliSet to run the unit on. And they can change the unit from, or they can change our order in the computer from continuous to start stop. So that you're saving money and you'll still protect that freight. Let me show you how to change it again, just one more time, and we'll just use the fresh meat IntelliSet as our example. Let's just say that we picked up a load in Dodge City, and the bills or our computer say run it at 28 degrees. We're going to make that change now. Remember, we've got the trailer that has the red decal on it, and so we're going to. The first thing we're going to do is hit the equal sign, and currently this trailer is set in the cheese slash foods IntelliSet. So I'm going to start toggling down through these IntelliSets until I come to one that's called Fresh Meat. I got some pharmaceutical, I got a floral. Here's one that says Fresh Meat, so I'm going to hit Equals, and it tells me the IntelliSet has changed, and it puts the temperature at 28 degrees because, that, because that's our default setting for Fresh Meat. Now again, you may have one that says uh, a customer may want the product at 30, or they may want it at 26. Let's just say they want it at 30 as an example. Once it says status OK, I can go back in and change the temperature. I can bump the temperature up, and all I have to do is hit the up or down button. So I'm going to toggle up to 30. Once it gets to 30, I'm going to hit equals again. And the message here says set point change. So I've got that taken care of. The last thing I want to do is I want to check this light over here where it says start, stop, or continuous. And it's currently on start, stop, so I don't need to change anything. But if I did leave it in continuous run, remember that you're not going to get much benefit from the reefer unit, from the reefer unit's IntelliSets by shutting it off to save that fuel. So that's just a quick run through on the IntelliSets. Just a reminder for you, your fleet managers have been trained in this, your mid-shift and night fleet managers and weekend fleet managers, the salespeople have been trained, our road assist, our shop guys, the people in the plaza all know about the IntelliSets. So if there are any questions, feel free to get a hold of any of those folks. If something comes up where 
we have a disagreement on how they really work, feel free to give me a buzz. Again, my name is Paul Higgins, and I appreciate your uh, attentiveness on this thing. I really believe that this product that we've gotten from Carrier is going to save you all a ton of money on reefer fuel, and it's going to continue to, to protect that product that we've, that, that, uh, we've committed to our customers to do. Thanks a lot. Face trucking, I'm fine.